Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll have a look at the GFS, the GM, the ECMDF, the GFS ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office run as well. We've got a very cold air mass over the top of the UK at the moment. We've seen our first real snowfall over some of the higher points in Scotland and that will continue overnight tonight as we still have this cold northerly flow. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you see the live ride at the moment, we've got just a scattering of showers really coming in from the north. Again, mainly over um, Scotland, where we do have this northerly wind directly coming in. Remember, this is convection that's coming up um, from the uh, ocean, the sea. Um, so it's got a lake effect where... Um, the sea surface temperature is about 15 degrees, the air temperature is much colder, and that temperature, uh, temperature difference brings the convection. That's why we're seeing these showers mainly towards coastal areas and in the north as well. There is some snow over the Scottish mountains, um, and mainly it will fall overnight, and we could see a dusting in a few spots. To low-lying areas, it's much more likely to be rain. There could be a bit of sleetiness mixing in as well. Some showers into the northwest as well, as we still have this northwesty flow, and we could see some snow or some sleetiness over the highest points um, in northern England as well. But for many areas, it's going to be quite dry, but it's going to be a pretty chilly night with many areas dropping down to the mid to low single digits. We could be seeing a frost in a few spots. So we do now have a look at the GFS, have a look at what we're going to see over the longer term. You can see at the moment we've got this north to northwesterly wind. Now it's going to be moving through pretty quickly and um, this cold rain mass is going to sort of fall away um, as we head through to Saturday. We bring up a much warmer air mass in off the Atlantic but that's going to be bringing rain in for Sunday as well. Beyond that again we maintain this westerly sort of flow um, and things just look generally pretty mild especially in the south um we could be seeing potentially some stormy weather at times with these low pressures coming in but we're still seeing this amplified jet stream and what happens was right towards the end of the run we go into a really quite cold northerly wind even colder than the northern wind we're seeing right now with the minus five lines spreading through pretty much all areas um really quite chilly uh, we continue this um, sort of theme with this amplified jet stream and the jet stream diving south as well, being like a bit of a Scandinavian high as well. A mixed bag, but it goes pretty chilly for the end um, of October into the start of November. If we do go back, you can see right for the night of Halloween, we could be going into a really quite chilly northerly wind. Um, so that's really quite cold there for Halloween. I'm very interested to see if that does come off. I do suspect it is an outlet at this stage, but just shows you what it will even could change up till day 10. So if you now have a look at the GM, see if that does compare to the GFS, see if it does go that cold towards day 10. You can see, again, westerly winds pushing in over the next few days. And then as we head towards the end of the month, you can see we do see a similar pattern in terms of this amplified jet. However, everything has shifted a bit further westwards. And what this means is we're on the colder side of this low uh, so we're on the warmer side, not the colder side, and we're bringing up southerly winds. You can see that colder area is plunging towards Iceland and to, to sort of the North Atlantic. Um, and again, if this was shifted further eastwards, this ridge was over towards Iceland, that's when we would be going much colder. So there isn't a massive pattern change, but it's just a shift in, in the exact positioning of the trough um, of low pressure and the blocking from the jet stream. So it can change, of course, and I do think at this stage the milder scenario probably is the most likely, um, as I'm not seeing on many of the other runs anything too cold. But very interesting to see what's happening um, in the GFS, and we've just got to keep an eye, really, um, of it, if it does come to fruition um, for uh, Halloween night. If we do have a look at the ECMDF, see that does compare, you can see the direct northerly at the moment, and then we bring in westerly winds once again, going pretty mild. Um, and you can see as we head right towards day 10, again, similar to the other two models with this big amplified jet stream. And again, like the GEM, we're bringing up southerly winds, a much warmer air mass pushing up from the south. Could be pretty pleasant there for Halloween. Low pressure out towards the west, so some more showers and maybe some more frontal rain into Ireland and western areas. But generally, for eastern areas and many parts of England, it does look pretty decent for Halloween. But again, if we did see this all shifted further eastwards, then we would be going colder, more unsettled, similar to what the GFS is showing. But I definitely do think this um, scenario is favoured towards day 10. But there still is a lot of uncertainty in play. So we do now have a look at the GFS ensembles. You can see this really well reflected. You can see cold air mass at the moment 
rising up as we see low pressure approaching, cools down as a cold front does move through, but then really warms up as we see south to southwesterly winds push up as a result of low pressure. We do see a lot of precipitation around, um, especially in sort of the medium to longer term, which is, you know, expected really um, with, the, uh, with, with a lot of low pressure around. You can see, though, as we head towards Halloween and beyond, you can see there are a few ensemble members following the GFS operational run going down below freezing, down towards minus 550 HPA. Now, there's only maybe three or four a minority of ensemble members, but at this stage, you can't rule it out because you can see the amount of scatter that there is um, on the ensembles. Um, and we'll just really have to keep an eye uh, on what happens with it. Um, at this stage, like as I said, wouldn't rule it out. But I definitely would favour something a little bit milder than that because that really is only if we get that direct northerly, which does look a little bit unlikely at this stage. But as I said, just got to keep an eye on it. If we look at the sea level pressure, you can see generally higher pressure at the moment, but low pressure coming in over the next few days into the weekend. Beyond that, we generally stay sort of towards a weak low pressure. Um, around 1,015, maybe 1,010 millibars, dropping a bit lower into the longer term, of course, but there is a lot of scatter. It doesn't look like, though, we're going to be seeing anything too dry at this stage. There's no massive high-pressure signal for the UK at this stage on really any of the models or the ensembles. They all have low pressure in and around the UK, just the exact orientation of the jets and exact positioning of the troughs and the blocking um, will really decide what sort of air mass we do see. If we go to Glasgow, see what we could be seeing further northwards. You can see it generally follows um, London um, quite well, but is a good sort of five millibars um, lower, simply because further northwards, closer to the centre of the lows, which are generally towards Iceland this time of year. So you can see at the moment, higher pressure is moving in as we see a ridge building and then low pressure runs in. It just remains really at low pressure for the foreseeable future, all the way up to early November does look like there is a lot of fluctuation around, some going really stormy, others going um, really high pressure um, orientated, up to around 1,020, 1,030 millibars, which would be really quite dry. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on what happens. If we look at the 850 HP in temperature precipitation, you can see at the moment really quite chilly, a good five degrees below average, rising to around or above average by this weekend, accompanied by a lot of precipitation. Beyond that, we see sort of an up and down sort of zonal sine wave where we're seeing warmer sectors and colder sectors. Um, sort of rotating every single day a lot of precipitation around and that does look like a theme it's going to be continuing throughout the end of october into the start of november you can see the operational gfs with a few other outliers going quite chilly but the majority are around or just below average a few going much warmer and that will be more of a westerly theme these others will have a little bit more um, of a blocked pattern with slower moving um, weather systems so will be really subject to change at this stage but nothing exceptional looking like uh, it's going to be happening um, for halloween at this stage but of course we can't discount that gfs operational run or those ensemble members going much colder um, it's just something as i said we're just gonna to have to sort of refine as we get into sort of the seven day time frame Toward, towards this weekend into early next week we'll have a much better idea exactly what we're going to be seeing at this stage though it does look unsettled regardless of whether it's going to be a warmer or colder air mass so we now finally have a look at the UK Met Office run. We'll run through the precipitation and have a look at the temperatures as well. You can see at the moment snow showers um, over the highest points, but mainly rain, sh uh, rain showers um, and maybe some sleet showers here or there across northern Scotland. Um, showers maybe move a bit further inland over overnight tonight to tomorrow morning, especially because the northwest, maybe parts of Wales and Northern Ireland as well. And then tomorrow, those showers do cut away across Scotland, but maybe a few are around um, sort of England and Wales. Beyond that, you can see thicker cloud is moving in off the Atlantic, and we're seeing heavy rain pushing in as a weather front pushes in. Mainly heavy rain over towards Scotland, western areas, but as it eventually does move through, it does weaken, but we could still see some heavier rain at times for many areas. And then again, through Sunday evening into Monday, just a lot of showers packing into the west. And then we see again another weather front we move by Tuesday. And again, it's just this pattern of a lot of lower pressure um, and unsettled conditions. And it doesn't like we're going to be escaping away from it at least for the next seven to ten days. If we look at max temperatures, 
You can see at the moment the temperatures are pretty chilly. Um, today temperatures got to around 10, 11 degrees or so. Um, and so overnight tonight, it's going to be pretty chilly. Widely, temperatures down maybe 6, 7, 8 degrees, feeling a couple of degrees colder than that. And where we do have some sort of more rural areas, could deck down to 5 degrees or so, maybe a little bit colder, maybe 2, 3, 4 degrees. And could, we could be seeing maybe the isolated frost here or there. Beyond that, temperatures tomorrow will respond a little bit better than today, maybe 12, 13 degrees, but still quite chilly across Scotland. By Saturday, um, early morning, we could see another frost potentially across Scotland, widely elsewhere still, maybe 7, 8 degrees, but still pretty chilly. But by Saturday, temperatures are starting to warm up, maybe 14, 15 degrees. And as we head into Sunday, temperatures are getting a little bit warmer once again, maybe 15, 16 degrees. But with rain, it's not going to feel that warm at all. And under that rain, it'll probably still feel pretty chilly, around 10, 11 degrees or so. Through Monday, we see again temperatures are around average, maybe 14, 15 degrees. But across Scotland, still pretty chilly, 5 or 6 degrees. And finally, by Tuesday, temperatures are starting to warm up from the southwest with a warmer air mass pushing in. But again, with rain, wind and cloud, it's not going to feel that pleasant um, under uh, under those conditions. But it's still, it will be pleasant if you do escape those conditions, of course. But at this stage, regardless of the air mass, it's going to be unsettled. And um, it's going to be uh, definitely, uh, at times, you're going to be seeing some rain, regardless of where you are. Mainly, western and northern areas are going to be um, the most uh, likely to see the heavier rain. But even for areas in the east and the south, we're going to be seeing uh, rain in and around at times over the next week or so. Warmer temperatures will come here or there. There could be the odd day where you see escape rain and we do see 15, 16, 70 degrees. But at this stage, really most days, we're going to be seeing showers and rain around for many. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you again for another video soon.